Hello and welcome to my first HOE solo. Here I'm going to show you how to solo HOE mode on Killing Floor as a Berserker level 4 or above. Also it would be handy to have a level 6 Firebug, which I will start as. You want to switch in the first 10 seconds over to the Berserker. This way you'll spawn with your weapon from the level 6. However, you'll be playing Berserker on the first wave. There's a range in which you can headshot that I'm trying to show you in this clip, but I kind of fail at it. You'll get to see it later in the video. For the first wave, just use your knife and your level 6 starting weapon to kill all the zombies. You'll probably want to sell the weapon you spawned with in this wave to purchase an axe. You don't need to buy armor, however. Now you're going to want to kite most of the enemies. This means you want to get them all on one side of you and run them, slowly picking them off. Also, that is a husk. Those, if you're playing Berserker, you will want to eliminate as fast as possible, but only if they're on their own. If they're not, you'll have to leave them for last. In kiting, you need to be making sure to look behind you a lot, or else you might end up with enemies behind you, which could get you killed. As the point of it is to keep all the enemies on this side of you. Also, you'll want to headshot the bloats, the big tall ones. If you take off the head, they can't shoot bile onto you, which will seriously hurt your armor. Sometimes when killing a zombie, Z time will activate, which makes everything go slow, like you just saw. During that time, you need to do something. I generally like to use it to go in a full 360 and check for zombies behind me. You can also reload or aim headshots. On this wave, you will also not need armor. On the early waves, you don't take enough damage to really need it. Plus, it allows you to get your bigger melee weapons up faster, as the axe will only work for the first four waves, maybe the fifth. I have most of the footage sped up here, so that it doesn't take an hour to get through all of this, and I can show it to you in a timely manner. Feel free to comment also and tell me if you like the slowed down footage, or if you'd like more of it to be normal speed, or just remove the slowed down footage entirely. Sirens will shoot out waves of sound that hurt you, go bypassing your armor if you get near them. They'll also destroy projectiles from larger weapons. You'll want to stay away from them and use your starter pistol to kill them. I cut out the footage going to the shopkeeper here. Okay, you'll want to buy the Dwarves Axe. This is a weapon that does not start being unlocked, however, all you have to do to unlock it is play the free-to-play game Dwarves by Tripwire and get an easy-to-get achievement and that will unlock it for you. It is very handy for soloing as it allows you to knock back enemies, as you might have seen already. And this is required nearly against the later level enemies. Now, to kill the crawlers, the ones crawling around on the ground, with a melee weapon, you need to not take damage as much as possible as they will whittle away your armor. So you want to do is, move forward towards them, let them begin their jump, and move backwards. They'll land in front of you, and then before they can jump again, you can walk forwards and kill them. When kiting, you'll generally want to find a nice circular area that you can go in a full path around. As I go around the road, then through the forest, and down the side of the road, back up to the road again. This way I can continue to go in that one large circle, and I'll always know where I am. You also need to be careful not to back into things, especially in the forest. You don't want to fight there, because if you're running from something and back into a tree, it could possibly cost you your life. It can be useful for the purpose of having zombies shooting into the trees though, especially the husks. Now this is where you require the axe. Other weapons can work, however I find when soloing the axe is the most viable. That is a scrake with the chainsaw. Once they go below 75% HP on this difficulty level, they will begin to charge towards you and not stopping. You need the axe to knock them away so they can't hit you. You'll continue to back away from them knocking away whenever they get close, however it shouldn't take many hits to kill them. 
this was a very dull wave, so I sped through the majority of it. Here I can show you another example of taking down a Skrake. No, this is a Flesh Pound. They only begin spawning on wave 7 and past. They are very hard to fight, and this is the main reason why I buy this axe. It allows you to knock them backwards and dodge their attacks, and their attacks deal massive damage. What you do to fight them is, you have to hit them at least once every 10 seconds, or else they will enrage. And once they're enraged, they will charge you until they hit you, and then stop. However, if you hit them too much within a 3 second period, they will charge, so you need to just hit them once, back away, and then attack again. Do this until they are dead. This can be hard when there are large clumps of enemies around them though, and sometimes it's better to back away and make them rage. This way they will leave their group of zombies and you can take them down separately. It's important to kill flash pounds as soon as possible. I've skipped forward to a later point in the wave. The reason you bought that pistol is because you can use it to take out the crawlers from a range, that way they don't risk hurting your armor. Right there I made a mistake and the scrape hit me, you may have noticed, it took a fair amount of armor and health, that's why you need to make sure that they don't. You want to generally be fighting them in open areas like this one. I like to just wait until they get here so that I can kill them on my terms. That way you have the advantage. If you fight them in the forest where you don't know where the others are, you could end up getting flanked and being killed. In this open area, I can always tell where all of them are. Now before engaging the Skrakes, you should generally kill all nearby enemies, as the Skrakes will not charge you until you have actually attacked them, making them no threat until you make them a threat. That is why here, I just juke around the Skrakes to take out the other enemies before engaging them. On easier levels, Skrakes only charge you at 50% HP, however on, I believe, the hardest two levels, or only the hardest level, they'll charge you at 75%. Here I lured them out into an open area. I didn't want to fight them in the forest because if they charged and I backed into a tree, there was a good chance they'd kill me. <laughs> and he did a cartwheel. There's also some weird audio bugs in this video that will be fixed in the next. Now you buy the M79 grenade launcher to take out hordes of little zombies. However, you have to be very careful with it, because firing it too close will hurt you badly, and hitting a scrape with it only once will allow them to charge you. You have to be careful as it does knock enemies back. You saw right there, I shot the siren trying to kill her, but instead knocked her towards me, causing more damage to myself. Now it can be hard to take a flesh pound when they're surrounded by this many enemies, which is why I ended up having to just back away. Here I decided to leave the flesh pound for later, because although I wanted to eliminate him fast, I couldn't with the number of zombies around him.
Grenades are very effective as Flesh Pounds. Flesh Pounds are the only unit in the game that have a weakness to grenades, so it's very important to hit them with your grenades. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and I'll see you in part two.